floating trash from Japan's devastating tsunami nearly a year ago is now halfway <coughs> across the Pacific Ocean. Scientists expect at least some of it to reach Hawaii in the next couple of weeks. The west coast of the U.S. will see it after that. And eventually, we're told as much as 100,000 tons of debris could wash up on U.S. shores. John Blackstone takes a look at what happens when it does. From automobiles to fishing boats, the Japanese tsunami swept an estimated 4 to 8 million tons of debris into the Pacific. Much of it sank close to the Japanese coast, but oceanographers estimate 1 to 2 million tons was washed out to sea. Gathered in one place, it's enough trash to cover 500 football fields 6 feet deep. Now it's at the mercy of the ocean currents. It's not a floating uh, mass of trash, or, or, or debris, I should say, but rather it is um, dispersed over a large region of the Pacific Ocean. A computer-generated model shows the widening area where the debris is now likely to be found, spread along a path a 1,000 miles wide and 2,000 miles long, and headed toward the United States. What we do not know is when exactly that debris will make landfall, how much of that debris will make landfall, and largely, what is the composition of that debris that will make landfall? So within a couple of years, beachcombers on the West Coast may be able to find remnants of the tsunami carried all the way here from Japan. But only about 5% of everything that's floating out there is expected to make it to shore. In Hawaii, oceanographer Nikolai Maximenko says debris could arrive there this year and by next year reach the coast of Washington and Oregon. Good news is that amount of debris that is actually going to uh, impact the coastline is only a small fraction. What doesn't wash ashore will become trapped in the middle of the ocean. It is there that the remnants of the tragedy in Japan are destined to remain floating far out at sea for years. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone in San Francisco.